It is believed that the margin of Conde's victory makes it harder for close rival Selu Diallo to challenge the outcome. But divisions over the results continue to grow. The result is the acknowledgement by Ghanaians of the quality of work accomplished by our candidate during his first mandate. The people have made him a leader once again through plebiscite. Nothing happened in terms of transparency and so that is why I was not convinced. May the Lord keep us from altercations which may result in similar practices. Candidates have eight days to lodge complaints before the Conde's re-election is ratified by the Constitutional Court. Election observers are yet to give their verdict on the vote tallying process. But overall, they say the vote was valid, despite logistical problems. President Alpha Conde gained 58% of the votes against his close rival Selu Diallo's 31%. Opposition leader Diallo has however rejected the results. He and other candidates claim there was widespread fraud in the voting. I will, at a given time, call for all Guinean citizens who were the real victims of this electoral hold-up to put to use the rights provided to them in the Constitution to organise peaceful public demonstrations to highlight their disapproval of the election process and outcome, and also to protest this denial of democracy I've just witnessed. President Conde will now rule Guinea for another five years. He first took power in 2010. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.